Catholic Bishops' Conference of Nigeria, CBCN, has commenced the first plenary for the year 2024. The focus of the plenary is Synod on Synodality, areas of concern for the Church in Nigeria. Members of the diplomatic corps, political and religious leaders, as well as the lay faithful, were part of the opening ceremony that took place at the Resource Center of the Catholic Secretariat of Nigeria in Durumi, Abuja. CTV News was also there. From different parts of the country, these bishops and archbishops are gathered here at the Catholic Secretariat of Nigeria for their first plenary meeting for 2024. The plenary, which began with a holy mass, had Governor Hope Uzodima of Imo State and other top government functionaries in attendance. To be a synodal church means every Catholic is to be in communion with the other Catholics and to be co-responsible for the mission by way of active participation, addressing together issues about the pastoral care of the family, for instance, about formation, about the predicaments of the young people, the unemployed, the implications of the astronomic increases in the prices of foodstuffs and other essential commodities, we can get together to discuss all this. Dear brothers and sisters, with our gaze steady on Jesus, we believe that the Nigerian bishops, priests, religious, CWO, I see them here, are you here, CWO? Are you there? Okay, yes, I see them. CWO, CMO, you are here too, I believe. The CYON, Sion, the Knights, Papal and other Knights, you are all here. What other definition of synodality do you want? We are all here, the bishops, the priests, the laity, the knights, the, everybody is here. So this is synodal, synodality in practice. We are giving synodality shoes to walk. After the Mass, the opening plenary began with the enthronement of the Holy Bible. The chairman of the opening ceremony and the governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Olayemi Kadosu, in his remarks acknowledged that Nigeria is passing through economic challenges. You've got to move as a country beyond being a consumer nation. You've got to move as a country beyond being a consumer nation. And it is something that we as Nigerians have been talking about for so long, for so many years, for decades, but really we've not been able to actualize that. So that's something very important that has dogged the economy of the country over a period of time. The other thing, of course, is to moderate um, our appetite for foreign goods, and that's closely related to what I had said earlier with respect to becoming a producer nation. Moderating our appetite, because at the end of the day, uh, many of the things you see and many of the things that bother a lot of people with respect to foreign exchange is all essentially down to demand and supply. The CBCN president, Archbishop Lucio Zugoji, who declared the event open, stated that Nigerians are suffering on the account of government policies. If we have to be very frank to ourselves and not to wallow in self-delusion, we must admit that we are faced with a case where a therapy is worse than a disease. Government's reform agenda is turning out to be counterproductive. Despite the efforts of government to boost our economy, our nation has continued to sink economically deeper and deeper into a bottomless pit. In withdrawing the fourth of city, government assured Nigerians it will be saving a lot of money to be injected into other sectors of our national development. Rather than give evidence of money so far saved from the withdrawal of subsidies for which Nigerians have been afflicted with untold hardship, all we hear is government's accumulation of more and more foreign debts. 
to balance its budgetary deficit, thereby mortgaging the future of a nation and generations unborn. I'm here uh, conveying you the closeness of the Holy Father, Pope Francis, and uh, his greeting and his blessing for this uh, very important meeting this year, in a special year for the Church in Nigeria, for the nation, and for all the world. I just would like to uh, stress something that uh, I, I was uh, meditating during the celebration. Uh, you are here, uh, especially now I speak to the bishops, uh, with other brothers, bishops, so you are not feeling lonely anymore. Sometimes I know the ministry of a bishop is, uh, um, is uh, uh, characterized also by solitude sometimes. There were goodwill message from the president of Nigeria, represented by the SGF, and other church leaders in attendance. Healings have not stopped, but they have significantly reduced. What happened in Jos was most in Plateau State, Mangu and Bogos, most unfortunate. So many people died. Even if one person is killed in a day, it is not good. Life must be sacrosanct, and it is our lot as a government to produce, to protect lives of our people, the properties. It happened when I was at home, and the governor of Plateau called me. I, I called him to find out what was happening in Plateau. And he told me, for the first time, the reaction time on the part of the military was swift, that they moved in swift. Believe that this conference will make the church in Nigeria more united, stronger, and more impactful in the work of evangelism. Dear brethren, as members, as members of the Nigerian Christian community, we acknowledge the multifaceted challenges faced by our churches on a daily basis. From a deliberate attempt to edge out Christianity in certain parts of the country through denial of right of occupancy for churches that want to erect their worship places to targeted serial attacks, arson, and kidnapping of clergymen for ransom that has now become a daily occurrence. The high level of insecurity, hyperinflation, and hunger are areas of serious concern as well. We set us free. So the church of today will be a listening church. A church that will be able to discern and know at what point in time it is going to stand on critical issues that are affecting humanity. In Abuja, Tony Abba, CTV News.